Gary Gower, drummer. I played in a couple of bands, Black Label and, of course, Cuckles. We formed in 79 and five of us went across to Adelaide to uh, CASM, the Centre for Aboriginal Studies and Music. We got a few gigs there and actually got a trip over to Germany. We played at the Leader Festival and we came back to Broome because it was difficult getting the guys together. Jimmy hit on the idea of uh, doing a play, Brand New Day and the rest is history with it being a very successful film. I remember as a young lad, the Broom Beats, one of the early bands in Broom, used to play just across the road and I used to sneak up there and have a bit of a listen. Years later, Father McMahon, rest in peace, he wanted to do a recording to see if he could uh, promote the band in, in Melbourne. And so Dad had an old reel-to-reel and the recording took all afternoon and into the evening. I was 12, I remember just watching the drummer and went to bed that night knowing how to drum and when dad bought my first second hand kit in 1971 I just got straight on the drums and I was straight into it really. It's always been around in our family. My grandfather is a musician. I found out on his uh, birth certificate he's a Filipino man and he's an accomplished guitarist. And growing up in school, drumming on the desk, influenced by various bands through the 60s and 70s. An Aboriginal drummer had some influence on me. It was Bart Willoughby from No Fixed Address, uh, Doug Clifford from uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Stuart Copeland from Police, and uh, Ian Pace from Deep Purple. I used to go along to Creedence and Police concerts and hope sometimes that the drummer would fall ill and they'd call on someone in the audience. So I was pretty much prepared to fill the boots, but uh, definitely not Roxanne in Police. That's too hard. <laughs> Well, you don't really need a kit. You can pat on some pans or drum on your thighs. You can pity patter anywhere, really. In fact, I've taught people on buses, in waiting rooms, sitting down anywhere. The basic 4-4 four, four beat is 1, 2, 3, 4, and accenting on the kick on 1 and on the snare on 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It depends what song you're playing. You vary the, the beat and the, and the rhythm to it. The guys usually come to the session with the tune and we just jam on it. And I suppose the drums and the bass, they're the foundation. With songs like Brand New Day and Fishing, there's a lot of recurring bass. The fill is a basic drum roll. A lot of the beats that I practice uh, on an electronic kit, of course, it's a beautiful sound. You can click through a hundred different tracks and get whatever sound you like. And it's just, uh, just a big buzz. This is what I like to warm up on. When you rehearse, usually that's knowing how many verses are in the song, the choruses, and the ending. A lot of the drummers that I know are very technical, very accomplished drummers. I personally like to go to a gig, get on the drums and go for my life. And I go with the feel and hang the technical stuff. When you know the music is tight, you know the guys are happy and you can see the audience really digging the music. It's a great buzz. And to have a snappy ending. Sometimes the bass player thinks I'm angry when I do that. 